On Mount Nemrut in Turkey lies an ancient mystery that has fascinated historians for centuries. Here, carved into the mountainside, are the colossal statues of gods, gods that closely resemble those of ancient Greece, located nearly a thousand miles away. What are these Hellenistic symbols doing on a remote mountaintop in the heart of the ancient kingdom of Kamajin? Could this be evidence of cultural exchange, or is there a deeper story behind these monumental carvings? The answer is hidden within these stones, and what we're about to reveal will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about history. The summit of Mount Nemrut is decorated with massive eerie stone heads and statues, some of which are about 30 feet tall. The colossal statues represent historical figures like Apollo, the god of the sun, Zeus, the king of the gods and ruler of the sky, and Hercules, a hero known for his strength and bravery. These heads were mysteriously decapitated from their bodies and are now scattered around the summit, separated from their bodies. Some scholars suggest they were destroyed during periods of unrest, but why do these statues, towering over the mountain, depict Greek gods like Apollo, Zeus, and Hercules? And the history of the kingdom of Comagene tells us why these Greek gods are depicted here. This small but culturally rich kingdom existed at the crossroads of three great civilizations, the Persian, Anatolian, and Greek. Their ruler, King Antiochus I, who ruled in the first century BCE, was a visionary leader and merged these cultures to unify his diverse kingdom under one reign. Antiochus was born at a time when the influence of Alexander the Great's conquest still echoed across the region. This contact brought Greek culture into harmony with Persian and local traditions. Antiochus wanted to blend the cultures, so he got artists to carve Apollo, Zeus, and Hercules depictions. His idea created a unique and diverse religion that symbolized unity and strength. You might be wondering why they chose Mount Nemrut for these unique monuments. King Antiochus I considered the mountaintop divine because it sat 7,000 feet above sea level. This height symbolized the king's desire to elevate his kingdom above the ordinary. By placing these statues of gods and deities at this altitude, Antiochus physically raised his status and metaphorically positioned himself as a god among gods, looking down upon his kingdom from the heavens. The stone heads are now scattered across the summit. Some scholars believe a massive earthquake knocked over these statues, causing their heads to break off from the body. However, no solid evidence supports this theory. Others suggest someone deliberately cut their heads off during a political or religious uproar. Perhaps someone wanted to erase King Antiochus's legacy by destroying them. Either way, the truth remains a mystery. Today, the decapitated status adds an eerie feel to Mount Nemrut's legacy. If you enjoyed uncovering this ancient mystery, subscribe and explore more with us at Lost Worlds Explored.